Wait, can this be? Is it really? Did Beta Knights actually upload something for once? My god! It's like the whole universe is ending, what the hell? Oh my god guys, hello people, this is Beta Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. And, oh my god, sorry for not being able to upload anything for so long. My upload schedule ever since school started has just been horrible. And, ugh, I hate it. <laughs> uh, sorry guys, I'm just like really on edge right now. I finally got a chance to record again, it's my day off today. Anyway, in the last episode, well in the last three episodes, we actually did some adventuring with our friend the Data Knight. And, God, that was an adventure. <laughs> it was fun, though, nonetheless. But now, we join Twink and Peach back up in the castle. I wonder how Mario's doing. Do you think he found a way to beat that double blubba? I wonder, too. I'm so worried. What if Mario got hurt? Well, um, no use wondering. Why don't we get out and try and eavesdrop again? <laughs> wow, man, you're getting kind of ballsy. If Mario managed to beat double blubba by now... Bowser and his followers will be really, really mad, don't you think? You may be right, Twink. There's no use just sitting around worrying like this. Let's see what we can find out. Oh, I suppose we might as well. Alright, come back here. Totally missed the button again, but it works anyway. Because of Peach's magic. As we learned in... As we learned in Super Smash Bros. Melee, Peach's magic. She hits people with her ass to make them explode. I chose Melee over Brawl because... Honestly, her ass making things explode is so much more entertaining than watching things go poof with a lot of pink pegles and everything. Doesn't seem as dangerous. Yeah, at least she kept her frying pan. My frying pan and parasol. Oh, I love that song. It can't be! No, no, no! Explain that again! Slowly! Your wretchedness. I keep trying to tell you. Tubble Bubble was ooh, defeated by Mario. Well, that's strange because you told me he was invincible. How can you beat someone who's invincible? Well, someone's pissed off. Uh, did I want to turn around here? Twink just flies off and she's like, oh, okay. Seriously, how does Peach barely realize once they turn all the way around? Urgh, stupid Mario. I guess maybe you found out the secret that made Tubble Bubble not quite so invincible. And then he beat him. God, I despise Mario. Really? Your filthiness. We have to come up with another tactic and quickly. Mario will most likely go to Shy Guy's toy box next. Yes. So we should prepare something there for his arrival. I don't... I won't be satisfied just having him beaten up anymore. What we need to do is find his weak point and, humi and completely humiliate him. Yeah, humiliate him. <laughs> Kevin Cooper, you gotta find out what Mario hates and... Um, bro? Huh? Gah! <laughs> For the love of... Why? Why is Princess Peach here? What's wrong with those guards? No, wait, hang on. This is actually good timing, my mistress princess. We're just discussing the weak points of our mutual friend, Mario. So, Princess Peach, what do you know about its weaknesses, huh? And listen, you must be honest. Which one of these does Mario hate... Does Mario hate most? A Goomba? A Clubba? Or- Oh god no, not Mushroom! Okay guys, these choices actually do matter. These are what will be placed around in certain key areas of this next chapter. So you can go with a Goomba, which is a weak enemy that won't really give us anything. A Clubba, which is an enemy we just fought in this last chapter, as you saw. Or a Mushroom. Yeah. Hmm, I see. Excellent. Is there another thing that fills him with dread? We can fight a Fuzzy. A Hammer Bros, which is an enemy we have not fought yet and we probably won't be fighting for a while. Or a Thunder Rage. Now, a Thunder Rage is actually another very good item. So I'm going to grab this. Good, good. And how about these things? Which of these is he? A Pokey? A Koop Patrol, another enemy we have not fought yet and we definitely won't be fighting for a while. Or a Super Soda. Now, Super Soda is not as useful, but... I thought just for comedic effect we choose those. Usually I choose the uh, the second option just to get some kind of like bonus star points since they're fairly good enemies. But regardless, not like we have any trouble getting star points as it is. 
Oh, excellent. Perfect. Thanks, Princess. Wahahaha. Be sure Mario can't avoid these things that he hates. We'll beat him for sure. Did you get all that, Kami Koopa? Get going immediately. Of course, your gnarliness. Mario's really in for it now. Or is he? Hmm. I started to wonder for a second there. But then again, King Bowser's order. This so I have no choice but to obey him. I guess we'll see. Uh, he's right there. Of course you will. My tactics are brilliant. They're pure art. Now I'll have to admit, a lot of the games do make him kind of seem like a bit of an oaf. Uh, some of the games have, like including the Paper Mario series, have shown Bowser to have some pretty, a uh, large amount of tactical genius. But regardless. So, Kami Koopa, have Princess, have Princess Peach taken back to her room immediately. Finally, we will witness the end of Mario. At last. Wahahaha. Guards, attention! Take Princess Peach back to her room at once. Yes, ma'am. And Bowser gets another updress shot. No, not again! Where the hell was he? He just like came out of the roof or ceiling, whatever. Ah, uh, whatever. And back with Mario and friends. Hello again. Hello again, Mario. I knew you could do it. I don't know how to thank you. I knew it was the right decision to ask you to help us. You're a great man. Now that I'm free, I can help you. Ha! And more fart sparkles. Mario Star Energy goes up to three. Mario can now use the star power and can now use Star Storm, a new star spirit power. With Star Storm, you can attack all enemies. Now that is actually one of the more useful Star Spirit powers in the game, guys, and you'll actually see some use all the way to end game with that one. Mario, I have one bit of bad news. Unfortunately, Bowser's life force seems to be getting stronger all the time. Most likely, it's the Star that's giving him more power. We're not even sure if he's noticing it or not. There's no question that it's making him stronger than before. We'll have to be much more careful in the coming trials. Ah, I'm sorry to leave, but I must get back to Star Haven. The other Star Spirits are waiting for me there. Oh, and if you could, please. Please give it a secret that I got lost in Forever Force. Thanks, Mario. Bye. And away he goes! Ah. <sighs> well, that's another Star Spirit down, guys. You know, whenever I do things like that, away he goes, or anything like with a weird voice like that, it just makes me think of like my random announcer voice, like, I have the usual announcer voice, something like this, just some sort of big, outspoken voice. And then I have the one that I mentioned oh, in one of the episodes with the Data Knight, which is the... Uh, see how to do it. Like, this summer, in a theater near you. Now, I can't say I'm as good with voices as, say, uh, Chugga Conroy is with some of his things, but eh, I get by. Alright guys, we must head back out to Forever Force. No! Wah! Bugs, get him off me! I'm lost in freaky force. S -s so s scared. Um. Okay. Eek! Oh Mario! Oh thank. I mean, aha! Boy, are you unlucky to run into me again? Why, it's Junior Trooper. Have you been crying? Did you get lost in here? Hey, shut up! Shut up! I'm not a lost child. I'm your worst nightmare. Here comes the pain. Oh boy, here we go again, guys. This is why I had to cut when I was showing that little Luigi secret after you get the 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 boots upgrade. Um, because even if you go, even if you try and leave the Forever Forest before beating Chapter Three, you have to fight him. It doesn't matter if you beat it before or after you start the fight. Don't think I'm vulnerable as I was before. Check this out: more power. And he grows bat wings. As I meant, that's one of his cooler little things. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's see how you like the new improved Junior Koopa. Wait, J Junior Koopa? Did he, re did he really just verbal typo his own name? Wow, dude. And I guess since Good Mario's out, let's just do this fix. It's Junior Koopa. I can't get enough of this guy. Wahaha! <laughs> the little guy get lost in the big bad forest. Max HP, 4. Attack power, 5. Defense power, 1. Apparently he's growing wings, so you can fly now. You'll have to jump to reach him. He's a bit stronger, so it may be worth it to use any items you have to attack him. 
Yeah, he may be flying now, but guys, honestly, he's not too up. Ah, he's not too much more difficult than he was before, and that was a complete waste. Like I said, he has defense points. And as we all know, defense completely screws over our friend Bo. But regardless, Paracarry can still do some nice damage to him. <clears throat> okay. Now, sadly, unlike... Unlike a lot of other para-type enemies, our little friend here is not so easily knocked down from the sky. And these wings are here to stay. You can't just clip them as easily as you could before. Like I said, he's not too hard. Just keep using some of your strong attacks and you'll be able to take him out before too long. And so will I, as long as I can get some of these action commands down, right? MC is already down to 15 HP. What do you start with, like 40? Yeah, I probably should have went for power bounce there, but... Regardless. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Merly, now you activated an actually useful time. <laughs> ah. Anyway, just like any of the other battles with Junior Trooper here, he's not hard to... How to say? He's not hard to block his... to action command his attacks, really. I mean, look at this. I've, I've been able to do it flawlessly this whole time. And, given this turn, the little Junior has been down. There's only one Koopa fit for the skies, bitch. I don't know what I was going with there. Anyway, we got a decent chunk of star points at least. No, darn it, darn it, darn it! And off he goes back into the big bad forest. Uh, I guess we'll get his bow back up. Alright guys, it's very easy to get out of the forest at least. Let's head this way. Then we should be able to just head back. Wait, what? Wait, was this the way we came in? Okay, apparently it was. <laughs> now, obviously, if you try and backtrack the exact same way you came in, it's not going to teleport you to the beginning. Let's see if we can get through this part. Okay, maybe this one. Right, go back. Here we go. Oh, I made it out of the forest. I kissed this, I kissed this ground. Yahoo! And away he goes. Now, luckily, that's the last we're going to be... Uh, I'm not going to bother saving right now. Now that's the last we're going to be seeing of him for a good while. Oh. Okay, might as well. Shaggers have been raising a ruckus all over town. But compared to ghosts, Shaggers are nothing. You're feisty, regarded for every foolish, correct? My name's Perico. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Now let's give him the letter. Luckily I remembered that he had one. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's work is never done. I wonder who Bootler is. Uh, oh no! No! This is from that ghost. He says, I'll creep up on you while you're sleeping. Boo! He loves scaring me. You think he'll really? Creeping. Darkness. Oh, woe is me. I'll never sleep. Get a hold of yourself, Feisty. Stand tall. Fear not. I'll be okay. Here, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Now we get another star piece, this time from the terrified boo. Or terrified boo. No, this is the boo. The terrified toad. Anyway. Oh, 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 oh! No! My favorite frying pan! Wait, what? What? No! No, 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 no! You do not steal from Tasty, the item synthesizer of Paper Mario. Oh, hello there, hon. Thank you for coming to visit, but I'm afraid I can't cook now. I'm so sorry. My dearest old frying pan was stolen by a shy guy. It really burns me up. They stole from fire. From Tasty! Who is Feisty again? <laughs> I remember the name, but not the person. Oh god, what the heck is happening here in Toad Town? Hey, you! You little scamp! Get your hands off! Give me back my calculator! Hey, you don't- You don't take Rolf's calculator! I need my badges, man! I need my badges! Yeah, I can't think of the name Rolf without thinking of, uh... Ed, Ed, and Eddie. That was like my mom- My mom's favorite show when I was younger. Like, out of those cartoons. This is one of my favorites too, but seriously, Rolf in that show is just so cool. 
Whenever I hear the name Rolf, I can't think- I can't not think of that show. Sorry, bud. Had a close-up shot. Somebody is shy guy stole my calculator. You believe that? I need that thing to calculate sales, bud. I'm not a genius. When I find that little punk. Wait, you- You need a calculator for your badge shop? Dude! You sell three badges at a time. All with set prices. No tax or anything included. The, you only sell one at a time, so there's no adding involved anyway. And I'm pretty sure you know your own prices. Or at least you should. They're posted up right there. Jack is trampling all over, all over my flower garden. All the poor flowers. They were so beautiful. It was my dream to fill Toad Town with beautiful flowers. I'm so sad. How dare you make a girl sad. I cannot forgive this behavior. Oh, thank you. The flowers give you their thanks as well, Mario. Eh. Do me know. Now that you saved the garden, there's a lot of cleaning up to do. Is this my chance? I Maybe we should go help Minty fix the garden. I suppose you can do that, sir. See anyone here? Yep. Get off the bed! Well, that's scared. Now the shy guys are gone. You can stay here. Would you like to take a nap? Sleep well. Eh, might as well. We just had a mini boss fight. Do you sleep well? Now that your body is slowly refreshed, your travels will be much easier. Uh, I wish I could do a real toad voice, or at least like a toad voice similar to uh, what Luca did for her LP. Stop! Thief! Oh boy. Did I just... I think I just auto leave. left. I'm not sure. Sure, I just stole a bag full of undelivered letters. Well, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be filled with delivery. I'm sure there were tons of important letters in that bag. Bills, packages, what are we gonna do? I'm sure something like that happened at my work. Freaking, maybe chasing the guy down dead. Oh, it's you, Mario. You're fortunate in time. Hmm? The town seems to be pretty active today, but it's none of my concern. I had a dream last night, and another oracle spoke to me. His voice was heavenly. If you keep going around, around and around the red palm tree, in the distant desert town, Dry Dry Outpost, something good will happen. So said the voice in my dream. It doesn't seem to make any sense at all to me. In fact, thinking about it makes me so uneasy that I can't sleep at night. If you find out what it means, please tell me. Uh, we'll be getting to that side quest a bit later. Uh, for now guys, uh, I'm gonna cut real quick. I am going to go and check if there are any badges I want to get with my star pieces over at Merlot Shop. And, wow, nice, I have 15 star pieces. Not bad. Anyway, tell them apart! Oh, okay guys. Actually, I remember there are actually a few star pieces to be had right around this area once we have the spin boots. Uh, I think one was right up here. Oh, yep, there we go. And that, I believe, is the last one in this area. But there's also... One just over here somewhere. Probably over here. Hello? Hello? Anybody else? Okay, I know there's one over here, right? There we go. Okay, I bi I bypassed that thing completely. <laughs> okay, regardless, guys. Meet you back in Toad Town. Teleport! Okay, guys, and we're back in Toad Town, as you can plainly see. And. Wait. I know there's something. Dang it, it's coming back to me. I know there's one. God, how, do, how am I remembering so many of these? Yes! Ah! <gasps> okay, guys, that was that for a random way to end off the episode. I don't know how I remember how to get all these things, but regardless. In the next episode, we'll be heading down back into the Toad Town sewers, or Toad Town tunnels, rather. Because uh, there's some stuff we can get done down there. I um, figure might as well before we head off to the next main area of the game. But for now, guys, this has been Beta Nights for Let's Play Paper Mario. I hope you have a good night, y'all. And I'll catch y'all next time.